to see you again. It's Tom Creek with Creek Bank Creations coming at you. Hey, Julie and I are so excited. We haven't done a live in who knows how long. It's probably, has it been a year, Julie? It's, I think it's been a year. We've been out on the road, but guess what? We're in between shows. We're going to we're gonna be in at Stamp Fest this weekend in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, it's a one-day show this Saturday. That would be uh, Saturday the 5th. The 5th. The 5th. The and where's it at? The Matthias? Uh, oh, I don't know. So anyway, much. it's in Clearwater. You look up <laughs> Stamp Fest online, you'll find it. We'd love to see you. We've got, we've, got, we've got a lot of new stuff, and we've got a lot of new stuff to talk to, talk to you about tonight. First of all, who are we? We are Creek Bank Creations. We have our own line of dyes, rubber stamps, papers, adhesives, tools, and all other kinds of other cool stuff. Uh, and by the way, we're going to be talking. We're going to be doing these cards tonight. We've got a, a couple of new dyes here that we're going to be talking about. And we have a new product called the Shaker Satchel. Crafters, it is going to revolutionize the way you crafters make your shaker cards. Because it makes it easy. Can you say easy? Easy. Can you say easy? I knew you could. Hey, by the way, <laughs> by the way I have got some specials going on. First of all, if you come to the show this weekend, all of our dies and stamps are buy three, get one free, and you can mix and match dies and stamps. It doesn't have to be all one or the other. And all of our stencils are buy four, get one free. Plus, we have some other tape specials. But for those of you who can't make the show, where is my, where is, there it is, right here. Got to find my notes, excuse me. We have a 15% off coupon for you. And use the coupon code be mine all lowercase be mine as in valentine's day be mine also um we are going to be giving away some stuff during the presentation today uh i'm instead of me asking one of my questions especially like gardening like i know y'all you, you ladies like my gardening and hunting questions uh but um what i've decided to do is i'm going to set a timer and when my when my timer goes off when the alarm goes off the last person that I see on my computer who dialogued will uh, be the winner. Now, it's not what's on your computer. It's on what mine, what's on my computer because there's different lags in the way these computers are, are uh, present the presentation, the timing of the presentation. So with that, keep dialoguing on there. Also, don't forget there's a thumbs up and there's a thumbs down on there. Don't do the thumbs up down. Give us the thumbs up if you would. We need all those thumbs up. We can. They, they said they missed your hat. Did you miss my hat? Yeah. Well, I'm back. It's the crafting cowboy coming right at you. Remember, like I always say at the shows, I don't, I don't craft, but the old lady does. <laughs> like you said, I don't craft. <laughs> Enough, Mrs. Creek. With that, we're going to hand this over to Mrs. Creek, and we're going to oh, get you going. Did you get all your talking done? I think I got all my talking done, but hold on okay. here. I need to get this live. I need to. Okay, okay. there we go. All right, here you go. Okay. Did he tell you to hang on because he was swinging around, or did he just wing, wing you and swing you? Okay, so we, um, we're we doing our best here set up in the hotel and um, trying to, to uh, make this work. So um, hopefully the sound and lighting on all, you can, you can all live with. They don't like that you called me old lady. Ladies, I call her the old lady just to get a rise out of her. I know she's yes, not the old lady. I'm not offended. But, but I don't I, I I just do it for fun. <laughs> but you should quit doing it. I should? Yes. Oh, come on. Because it's not nice. But it is fun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am okay with it. Um so we are good. It's good to see all you guys logging on and um tonight we're going to cover a lot of ground. So Tom can you hand me the I cards? can I can now, you'll have to know that this was not pre-planned or premeditated. This is coming live from the um, La Quinta Inn in I, Clearwater, I just, beautiful Clearwater, Florida, coming to you live. Oh, sorry. I said to Tom um, when we were driving here from Texas, I'm like, you know, we should we should do a live. And so um, we kind of just threw this together. So hopefully we have it organized well and we can um, get across some really good information for you guys and have some fun tonight. Um, Nancy Goode said to call me the old bag, just call me the old bag of bones. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Nancy, all the way from California. I was hoping you were going to be watching, yeah. Nancy. Okay, so um, where is the thumbs up on your phone? Oh, 
it's it's right if you look underneath the picture where you're looking at there's a it says thumbs up can you see it i i i don't know right now there's 23 thumbs up okay all right so um what we are going to talk about tonight we're actually if y'all if everybody hangs around for a while i'm going to cover a lot of ground um, so we'll just see like how long people hang around and if you're hanging around I have several different things I could show you tonight but we're going to start with the um, the castellated shaker frame die and the shaker satchel. Can you say that again real fast? No, castellated no shaker I, frame I had die. trouble getting it out of my mouth. So um, the as we go through what we're doing tonight I um, prepared a blog post for you guys and if you have questions about links on products they are on if you go to the blog www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com you will find the links there so if there's stuff that you want to shop there are links there and you um, use the coupon code be mine and you'll get 15% be off. mine be mine and um, free freight on orders over $50 okay are we ready to go are you guys ready if you're ready write ready in the chat Stay are ready. you ready ready are you ready? Yeah. Did you take my phone? So, um, we're going to work on two cards tonight. I'm going to show you this to begin with, and then we're going to do a little adaptation, and we're going to do um, this card. So these are A2 cards, so they'll fit in an A2 envelope. Let me show you some different versions of the same card, and as you're looking at these, you're going to see some new products they're all ready tom ready okay ready, ready, the, the ready. timer is set yep. you could be you could be the here's winner. the um a shaker card with the lemon zest stamp and die set this came out last summer not this, the die though just, just i mean the the, the lemon the, zest the frame, the, yeah you're the zest the zest i'm this, the zest this has <laughs> <laughs> i'm the zest baby you baby i'm Would the zest <laughs> You're the Zest. Came out last summer. Okay. Here are the um, mini uh, M candy that we have inside the frame. And if you're not familiar, we have a whole line of shaker um, confetti for the inside of your shaker card. It's called Shake and Rattle. If you go to the website, you'll see that on the website. This is um, this particular mix. I'm going to try to get this close so you guys can see it. It came out last and um, it has the dog bone and the dog paw in it and the um, mini bead. Now, one of the things that um, is unique about most of the mix that we um, produce is that we have inserted into them a glass bead, a very small glass bead. So to me, the fun about the shaker is that there's a bead in there that rolls around. How big a glass so, bead are they? They're really small okay. beads, so they're small enough that they're they fit in your foam. And um, what's the cool part about the glass beads in your shaker kit, Mrs. Creek? I think I just said that they roll. They roll, but what else? That they, makes it so they, the they stuff doesn't stick, yes, right? Yes, they they roll around and they sparkle. So um, originally we came out with um, conversation hearts last year. And I'm holding this up so you can see it. Um, we've added now when you buy the bee, the mix, the glass beads come in it. So we're updating all of the mixes as we go. And we're adding beads to all of them. I did want to share with you um, new mix. The um, basketball mix. Basketball Jones. I got I some basketball a picture they're getting. Can you see it? Basketball. But go back a little bit. Go back. Just the back. So it's getting focused. Football. Football has... Just in time for the for the Super Bowl. What happens when you hit this button? I'm going to try it. No. Don't want that button. Um, <laughs> no um, football. Hold, hold the footballs up there so you can see that. This, I did that. B baseball. Carmen, I'm not going to tell you how long the timer's set for. Then that would give it away. Yes. The baseball has... Um, iridescent stars in it and red beads. Soccer is so fun because it has um, the soccer balls. It has black stars with a hole in the middle and it has green beads. I don't know how well you can see this. Green beads. Really cool. 
And then um, we have gummy hearts that's new. These I'm going to use tonight when we get to the second <laughs> card. Now, this, when you purchase the shake and rattle from us, it's going to come in this little bag. But we do have the clear container, and I did not add this to the blog. I'll try to get it afterwards. I'll try to go back in and add it. Um, but the, I like the clear container because you can dump the contents in, and then you can pick out what you want. And these are just little, um, I guess they're acrylic hearts. I don't know. They're different colors. We're going to use those tonight. These are called gummy hearts. So I like to um, keep them in the container, and this is exactly how I store them at home. I cut the label off and tape it to the front of the jar so it has the name on it. So um, those are some of the new shaker mixes. We have a ton of new products. We're only going to hit a few things tonight, but um, I just wanted to share with you that part. Now, last... Any questions before I'm just like over here, blah, blah, blah. Oh, blah. my gosh. Any mm -hmm. questions oh, that I need to answer? Stuff. No? No not, questions not for me? Not okay. right now. Everybody's commenting, though. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Okay. So last year sometime, um, we came out with this product, which is the um, self-adhesive foam rectangle, and this as you can see, I have written on here sample. This is Tom's sample, sample, sample pack sample? from the show that he works demo out of. If I uh, I write sample on it, because if not, it gets put back on the rack, and then you take it home, and there's only four in the package. So when you buy these, I had these size to fit an A2 card. So you pop the middle out of it, and um, you this is tr this part is trash. This is the part you're going to use. Do you have a question, Tom? No, I was just looking at the part that was trash versus the okay. part that we're going to use. And then um, and there the picture, are... It makes you the picture in my... You know, there are clear windows. Eyes. So, previous to what I'm going to share with you tonight, if you wanted to make a card, you would start with your card base, you would put the foam down, you would put the shaker filling in, you would put the window on top. So, are you getting Marilyn's comment there? Marilyn, Marilyn, with Marilyn. So, said. Tom, Marilyn, could you tell us the code again for the special price? Yes, be mine. Hey, you, you, oh, yes. you're. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom, you're supposed to be answering the questions for the customers. Sorry. Okay. Marilyn. So, I'm a little out of practice so here. The old way to make a shaker was to put the foam on, put the contents in, put the window on, and then put your top on, and then you had your shaker card, and um. That can be very difficult, and um, especially I'm finding as I get older, these more um, intricate things are harder to do when you're chasing around little pieces and beads and all this stuff. So um, I really wanted to make it easier to make a shaker card, and that's what the system that we're talking about tonight is. It is size to fit on an A2 card. So what you're going to start out with is that self-adhesive foam rectangle that we started out with last year and it does have adhesive on both sides. Now this adhesive liner, the liner they have on here is clear and I said you could throw this away but you can um, save it and cut it and use it for pop dots but it is very, um, it doesn't want to die cut because of the kind of liner that's on it so um, you can decide do you want to fight it or do you not want to it is a nice big chunk of foam if you make mini albums this would be a really nice mat for a photo <laughs> so just saying okay so that's the basics now what we're going to do what i've designed is a system that um uh, julie bohannon asks any additional postage needed when mailing um well i'm not sure as long as it's as long as it's a quarter inch or less. Diane um, Morris, do you have an opinion about that? Or Yvonne? It should be standard. I think I have, class. I don't know if my other Diane is on here. I think I have some of my teachers with me tonight. Um, we <laughs> are less than a quarter of an inch. So I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the tolerance is. What that Lois is. Lois Back mailed her shaker card today and it cost, cost a dollar eight. eight cents. Okay, so these might be cards that you hand deliver. <laughs> 
if you don't want to pay a dollar. Again, that's at somebody special. That's so only double the price. What we're looking at is the. Um, actually, we're going to talk about three products. Well, we're going to talk about more now. But basically, we're going to talk about the Shaker Satchel. This is what is new, and this is the game changer. And there are 12 Shaker Satchels in this package, and it is teamed up with the, sorry, castellated frame die. So the castellated frame die, I designed in such a way that when you put it on top of the foam, it's really easy to line up and it holds the shaker satchel in place. So this is a really different way to make a shaker card and love it. They're all answering the questions. So awesome. So um, I'm going to, what we're going to do is work on, we're going to start with this card tonight and we're going to make, we're going to work on this card. Now I will tell you, I do not have um, all of the things to put together the actual gnome. How much does the die cost? Yes. Do you know, Tom? How much does, uh, but be, that, is, that is would it be, a, the, is it on the price there? Yeah, no, because this is, oh, hold on, hold that, hold that thought. It is. The sh castellated shaker frame die is $16.99. It comes with the three um, dies for the inside. Turn this over. So you the can four put dies. That would be four dies on the great. inside for you to stamp sentiments on. And they work really well with most of your sentiments that you're going to have. So if you look here, I have the thinking of you stamped on that banner piece little sentiment die that comes on the inside. C Carmen Harrington, for your information, I made up the word castellated. Hold it! Oh, -ho! Pamela Duncan, you are a winner. Pamela Duncan, Pamela Duncan. I gotta write that down. While he's doing that, I'm gonna turn the Hold camera on. down. I'm gonna get the camera set, you keep going, okay? So hang on, because the camera's gonna go down. It may get rocky for a minute. Okay, all right, ladies. Ladies, can they hear me? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Mrs. Creek, we have 122 watching right now. Oh my now. gosh. And we always said last year when we did we, when we did yeah. our lives that yeah. if we ever had more than 80, we'd give an apron away. Oh. Pamela Duncan just won a Creek Bank Creations apron. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so you need to get did you write her name down? I I will. And we're still more to be given away. Oh my gosh, guys! This is. Do you need help? I think I'm. I think I'm getting it. I think I'm gonna have to move my laptop. That's a nice uh, plaid shirt I have on there, isn't it? Y'all get to look at it. I'm trying, guys. Here, Tom. I I uh, really could. Well, maybe I can. Okay, guys. I'm trying. Got the laptop in the picture. Sorry. Okay. I'm getting there. You getting there? I think so. Are you, I am setting the alarm for more prizes. Okay, you set the alarm. Guys, I'm trying. I'm trying not to jerk this all over the place. I'm glad you're not going anywhere, Kathy. Set that alarm. Patty said, set that alarm. I did. We're okay. Gonna, we're going to give away more stuff. I think ladies. I'm there, but I think I'm lagging. So, Tom, how am I looking over there? Uh, I see your shirt really yes, well. I'm I lagging know. too. Hold on. Let me, let me refresh here, okay? Hello, Jane. We're glad you're here. And yes, I'm using my phone. It is, do you, are you getting a picture on your screen? Yes. Mine is lagging. The picture is really good tonight in spite of the blowing storm. Well, uh, Diane, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you all who are in the uh, snowmageddon, snowmageddon are, um, you have power. There we're back. And um, we're good. Okay, what do you guys think? Is that um, 
Not looking good. Do you ever do a show in Southern Arizona? Well, Kathy... <laughs> who said that? It's who asked that Kathy question? Kathy Kinsley, who you... Didn't you get her order ready to ship? Kathy, uh, I, I'm not yeah. sure. Okay, so... Yes, I did. Yes, yes. Barb... Okay, hold, let's go back to Kathy's question. Kathy says, um, are you ever... What was that question? Are you, do you ever do a show do you in, ever Southern do it in Southern Arizona? And uh, we, well, here's we just added... Mesa, Arizona Expo, Mesa, Arizona Stamp in September. Stamp Expo in September. Because? So we'll be seeing you there. We've never been and to then a desert on a horse with we've, no name. Yes, we've never been on a desert with a horse. With, are we taking a horse? To a horse with no name. That's okay. right. All right. So um, I wish, I can't tell. Is this, it looks off center to me. I'm going the other direction. Yeah, yeah go the other way. All right, guys, go the my, other, go the other way. Go the other my way. camera is there, lagging. There you go back, back again, a little more. More the other in way. focus, but upside down. Yes, you're upside down. You're, the, what do I do about that? Well, turn, turn the, the turn, phone turn, around. Turn the alpha oh around. My the gosh. Other way, no, 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 no. I can't work upside down. Oh, okay. I have to turn the phone around. Right. Hold on, guys. I'm going to turn the phone around. Okay, we will be at Mega Meet. Somebody asked that. And all of these products that we're talking tonight will be in Rockford. Well, Patty, I'm glad your husband was enabling you. Okay, I think we're good. Can somebody tell me how the shot looks? I have a really big lag here. You're in the corner. You need to move it. So you need to center it a little bit. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry this is taking so long. There you go. There. Right there? Goodness, you are on. Okay. Are you are you live? You're live, baby. We're live, yes. Okay, this doesn't look right to oh, me. Well, you had it. You moved it again. There, right there. Right there. Okay. No, no, no. Do I need to put a piece of tape down? So Diane, can... what do I need to do? You're right there, baby. You might get a little closer. It's a little tighter. Can you get a little tighter? Card needs to go up. Thanks, yeah. guys. I appreciate your helping me. Good, in the corner. Go, okay. You're in the corner. You need to Cindy, be... that's a yes. You're in the, your, your edge, your, your gnome edge. You Am I there? there? Oh, you were there, baby. You are on it. Okay, hello, on. Gene. We're thrilled you could join us. Gene, Gene, Gene we're, playing, we're playing the buzzer game tonight. When were you going to be in Rockford? Let me get the schedule out. So, okay, I think that we are... Um, Yes, Loretta, out of practice and in a hotel room. So even like everything's weird. Okay, so I think we're good to go. And as we go, if you all need me to move something, um, holler at me. Diane Morse, if you can like, or if my other girls are on here, you know, tell me what to do. <laughs> I give you permission to boss me around. Okay, so um, we're going to get started. We're going to make this little uh, fun card and... I do not have all of this stuff to finish out the gnome. We decided to do this on the fly, and I don't have all of these components. So we're going to make the whole card. This is the Valentine gnome die. He's a layering die, so you can die cut him. And he's just the stinking cutest little thing. But um, we won't be doing him tonight because I, I could not. I, I don't know how many times I sent Tom out to the trailer. I do. And um, I, do. I didn't want to ask again. <laughs> so when we get started, we're going to start with the basic A2 card. And we are going to do our background first. So I'm going to take my card stock. And I'm going to cut my card stock. And this is just how I'm doing the cards that we're doing tonight. This part you can take poetic license or creative license with. I'm going to put a piece of tape down. And I'm going to center my card on my grid and, and square it up with my grid and then I'm going to go back with my stencil. I'm going to add my stencil. Now this is the gradiated heart stencil and I still have blue ink on it from earlier today. Not good. Get it cleaned off better. And we are going to put that down. When we put it down, we're going to use the grid to line it up. If my card is square on the grid and my stencil is square on the grid, then I know that I have a design that is straight on my card. So I'm going to line it up. Now, here's what's new. Y'all haven't even seen this. 
This is the new art stencil tape from Creek Bank Creations. And why did we come up with that? And um, we came up with this tape because the tape that other people had didn't work. And I just got frustrated. And it wouldn't so stick. here's the deal. It has a light amount of adhesive on it, adhesive on it. So you can use it for holding your stencils and dies, but there's not too much adhesive. So it's just the right amount of sticky. Tom? Not too much. Not, not too, too much. It's kind of like Goldilocks said, Mrs. Creek. She said it's just right. Yes. Okay. So we're going to pick up some ink. We're going to use our J brush. This is our stencil brush. It has an extra large barrel so that it's easy to hold in your hand. I'm using Catherine Pooler Rockin' Red tonight. And when I use, when I pick up ink with the Catherine Pooler ink pads, I just dab side to side because this is a really soft foam, and if I bang this, which is what I like to do. How much is the tape? Is it three um, I think it's three Like the felt, the felt pads, you'll, you'll bang up your foam on the Catherine Pooler. So if you have a soft pad, you just wanna go side to side. And then I usually start off my paper and work my way on because if I have an ink blob, I want that ink blob to be off my paper not on. Now that'll depend on how much ink is in your ink pad and I honestly prefer to keep my ink pads on the dry side because I like the look that it gives me. I don't get a much of a wet look on the stencil so that's just what I prefer. So you can see when I do stencil I usually do little bitty circles. Tom he does the swipey thing. I do the swipey thing. So back and forth. you can do what you want. And most of the time I'm using it with this band back. This band is adjustable. But if I want to do really detailed work, I can pull it up. And you see there, I get two stencil brushes in one. I'm going to go back in the top and just drop in. Barb Williams asks, can you use that tape over again? You know, um, Barb, I keep the tape um, on the side of my table. And reuse it over and over. If you look at my behind my on the back of my table at a show at a trade show, you'll see I have tape stuck all over the inside of the table, and I usually have it stuck on my um, die cut machine. Today at the lovely La Quinta Inn in Clearwater, Florida. Excuse me. Did you say anything about the stencil brushes at all? The yes, I just talked about like, the J brush. Oh, did you not? The J brush, six ninety nine. There's a bundle price. Yes. And. Um, that are on the website. I keep mine in the wood block or we have the clear bag. So six for 39 or eight brushes for 52. When you buy six brushes, you get the color card for free. Get it for free. And you can mark Absolutely them. for free. So here at the hotel, I have my tape stuck on the Vegematic that we travel with. That would have been a great question for this. What, what's that? That would have been a great. What kitchen appliance do the Creeks travel with? Which one? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The Vegematic. Yes, it would be. No, the Vegematic is the oh, oh. ninja. Lori Potts. Lori Potts is the or Loretta Potts. Loretta. Excuse me, Loretta Potts. I didn't have my glasses on, Loretta. Sorry. Loretta Potts is a winner. I need to turn that off. <laughs> Loretta. Loretta, you're a winner. And you know what? because there's still 111 watching. I'm gonna give away another apron. Loretta, you just won an apron. Congratulations. That's Loretta, she's gonna be at the show. Loretta might already have an apron. Is you Loretta, might have to give her some Loretta confetti. Is Loretta gonna be at the show Saturday? Loretta, are you at the show Saturday? Barbs, I do not, I do not have any um, new gnomes at this time. They're, they're in the future. Okay, I cleaned off my stencil. This is our Wonder Wipe. When you buy this, there are two in the package. I keep the blue one for wet work and the yellow one for dry. My stencil's all cleaned off. Let's get to building the card, shall we? Let's do it. We're doing a lot of... Okay, so I've got my card front, and I've got my card, and I am going to center this on my card front. Now, this paper was 3.75 by 5. So I'm going to put my tape all around the edge. 
Kathy, I also use the tape to hold my dies, and I'll show you that in a minute. And um, it's just a matter of having the right. Um, they are hearts, Marilyn. That is the gradiated heart. Let's see if I can get you a better picture there. And um, that's the gradiated heart stencil. So we're going to go tape all the way around, and I'm using not centered. Using not centered? The um, quarter inch super tacky tape here. So the deal um, tonight is. 15% off when you use the coupon code be mine and if you order over $50 we're going to ship it for free now I need y'all to be patient with us because we are having a blizzard in Indiana or, or actually I don't, I don't they are me. having I'm sorry excuse me a blizzard in Indiana because we're in Florida yes go ahead Loretta I will give her apron at the show okay Loretta apron coming to you at the show and thank you so much for coming and joining us. Now, what we have is our self-adhesive foam rectangle. And when you open this package, you're going to see there are six pieces of the self-adhesive foam and there are six clear windows. We're going to do a trick with this card tonight and we're going to use these. But before we do, we're going to turn the card over. Oh, you see, I got a nice little design there from my ink. And we are going to put the zip strip die on the back. Now, I don't know if, have we done a live with the zip strip, Tom? No, we have not. This is the zip strip die. This came out last, I don't summer probably. I'm going to tape it on the back. And then I am going to run it through the die cut machine. So my die cut machine is on the floor. Hang on, I'm going to die cut this. We'll be back. Now, I do recommend that you only run this through one time. I usually die cut everything twice, just like habit. But I would really recommend that you only want run it through one time because you just want to get the basics there. And then we're going to pull off that tape. Can you guys see okay? We will be at Stamp Fest this weekend. Okay, now the purpose for this die is that you can use this on cards or other projects. And what you're going to find is that it'll die cut and then it'll leave little spaces so that you have a zip strip that the person can pull. So in this case, I use the castellated frame and I actually put chocolate in there and I want you to see on the other side is the zip strip that can be pulled so they can get to the candy. So that's the zip strip die. Oh, the fun you can have with it. We're going to pull it shut. And now we've got our zip strip. Did you reset your timer, honey? I did. On the back. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to pretend. Well, I'll have to pretend because like I said, I don't have all the stuff here tonight. But I want you to see in the back of this card, the um, I forgot the name of it. The Tarbucks card. That's the right. The Tarbucks Why? card because back here. Why? Because coffee tastes like tar. I know. <laughs> 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 so many opinions. This is the man who drinks coffee. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the gift card inside this, and we're going to make it accessible so that the confetti fall out of the card. So the next step would be to put my gift card right here. I don't have one. If I had one, I would slide it in right here. And then we're going to take that clear frame that normally goes on top of the shaker, and we're going to set it on top of what we've done next. Now you do not need a ton of adhesive, but you do want to keep that adhesive up on the edge. And boy, I got that, as they say in Indiana, crookeder than a dog's hind leg. Um, let's straighten that up. They do. <laughs> <laughs> they do where I come from. Oh. So we're going to put some tape on there. And then we're going to put that piece of acetate on. 
and that will keep the gift card really accessible and to keep your whole thing from falling apart. Let's pull the liner off. I like to use a pick tool. Pull the liner off. I wish I could see where I am. I cannot tell. You need more light? I can't tell if I'm in frame or not. Uh, you're pretty close. Oh, well, you need your hand. That hand over this there. This hand? Uh-huh. needs to go over that way. This hand. It needs to go that way. Here. No, no. There you go. Okay. Well, I think, no, it's the other way. <laughs> no, you're doing good. You're doing good. Yes, yes. Keep it right there? Yeah, no. Come over here. I great deal. Okay. Okay, we're going to take that clear, which would normally be on top, and we're going to set it in that tape. Are you following me? Okay, well, yes, Connie, it will be available afterwards. There you go. Now, we are going to take that foam rectangle, and when you get these, they're already die cut and fit to size, and we are going to set that right on top. So I'm going to take off the liner. This has a clear liner and um, you probably be best to use your pick tool to get that liner off and then I'm going to take my undo and I'm just going to run that around the edge. Undo is going to suspend adhesion. And undo is what ladies? Your best friend. Long enough for you to get that frame to fit exactly where you want it and if you don't get it exact undo will give you the ability to reset and redo. I moved my plastic. Let's reset and redo. Okay. So you can see with undo, you can fix all your mistakes. There we go. Centered. Now we have our nice heart background. Am I centered in the video, Tom? How am I looking? You're, you're, you're on there, baby. You are okay. there. Okay. There, there we go. We're going to um, center that, and we're good. Now, will the products be linked in the description? I don't understand what that means. There is a blog post, there's and if you go to the blog, all the links are in the blog. Oh, is this the blog post right here? Yes. I'm going to post the blog yes, post right in now. the blog. Everything is on the blog. So now, old school would be that we would put our confetti filling in here, put the window on top, and then finish it off. But we're doing Julie school <laughs> tonight. So is that we'll, old or is that new? Well, I guess it's Julie school. I don't know. Um, we're going to take the castellated, I'm sorry, this shaker satchel. We're going to open it up. We're going to get one of those out. And this is designed to fit perfectly in here. I'm going to take my confetti filling. And I like to use a spoon. And I just like to dig into here and try to get some of those beads and I like to get like a, ta a teaspoon like a, a, this thing full and then I'm going to dump it inside the satchel. Are you with me so far? You could you handle that part? Yep. Okay so that's why having those little clear containers is so handy. Okay there is my confetti inside my satchel. Now this has a removable strip. Hold it, you're not under the camera. You're not under the camera. Go back towards the bottom. Hold it, it's, it's Sheila Hemker. Sheila Hemker is a winner. Sheila. Could you please turn that off? Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we've got a self seal strip. We're gonna pull the strip off and you wanna, bring that bag back and close it into the self seal strip and I like to line it up right along that edge. And if you get that right along the edge of the adhesive, it helps the the line not to show through on the front of the shaker card. Does that make sense? Now we have encapsulated all of the shaker goodness right there okay so what we're going to do is take our pick tool and we're going to pull off that liner that's on the front of the foam are you getting all these people's mm -hmm. names and did you reset your timer i will mrs creek 
I got guys. I got to stay right on top of him now. My my. Um, okay. Go ahead. Are you are you commenting? Are you saying something? Yeah, my phone's wanting to pick up because of that undo, so I'm just pushing my phone back down. Go right. ahead. Go I, ahead, I'm baby. I'm giving away three aprons okay. tonight because All this right. was a special occasion. It was a special occasion. Okay. So uh, Sheila Hanker just uh, won an apron. The next prize is going to be our new gummy hearts. Okay. Okay. Gummy hearts. Okay, so we've got our um, satchel with all of our stuff, and you can see this satchel is designed to fit right inside of that rectangle, and I'm going to set it down in there, and it's going to hang over. It, depending on how you fold it, um, you might have it sit in there perfectly. I like to get it really tight on that edge, and then there's a little bit stuck in the foam. <laughs> uh, are you laughing about the gummies? I'm laughing at Jean. Jean, Sheila. Yeah. Jean yeah. is not really Sheila. Uh, anyway, Sheila's not really Jean. I'm not sure. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Okay. So do you see how we have all of the filling in there and we're stuck down? Now, if you're, if you're, if the way you folded your bag is a little long, that's okay because you can stick it right in the adhesive. And that's exactly how I like to do it. And then you're going to take that castellated frame die and set that right over the top. And the way this is designed, it helps hold everything in. I am going to coat my frame with undo first because that's going to allow me to reposition this if I don't get it perfect the first time. So I'm going to lay that right on top. And this frame is designed to be just a little bit wider outside and on the inside edge of your foam so that you can just set it on top and you have your shaker card. Now we need to let that adhesive evaporate or the undo evaporate. Does that make sense? Patty, the frame that I used, this piece right here, is called the castellated frame. And that is the castellated frame die. And you will have to die cut that yourself. I'm looking for my package here. Do you see where I put it, Tom? I don't know why my comments are. What am I looking for? I laid down the uh, the die pack. The die pack? Yes, the castellated frame die. You just had it here. You're showing people the picture. Oh, here it is, right here. Yes, that's because you took it. Okay, so this is the castellated frame. Okay, it's on the website and it is sized specifically to go over that foam, and that is the only thing holding that in. You can see here with this one. It's going to hold all your shaker filling, and then if you want to attach something on the top, you can. And in this case, I even put the um, Kit Kat bar in there. Okay. How come I keep I keep making these comments and they don't go on anymore? Jean, see me at the show, and I'll get you your apron. You just came on. Really? I think you're lagging, oh, and you don't okay. realize it. I got you. So, sorry, guys. We're still working on it. So, um, the, this is supposed to be super easy. How will you get that Kit Kat bar out of there, um, Lois, is that if you put the zip strip in the back, hopefully you can see this, you can just pull the zip strip and get the Kit Kat bar out. They'll have to pull it out of the satchel because the Kit Kat bar is in the satchel. Okay. Did I, there were a bunch of questions well, that my, my, um, sorry, went by. So please. if you have a question that we didn't get answered, can you buy it at the show? Yes, you can. Oh, yes, these products. We will not be selling Kit Kat bars. Yes, we cannot <laughs> sell you Kit Kat bars, but we do have the other products. Um, is there another gene, Lois? Lois, she did the zip on the back. Yeah, that's is there right. Another gene. Okay, so the. Yes. the Yes. You'd be passing them out. Huh? No, Patty, Tom will not be passing them out. He might pass out, but he won't be passing out chocolate. 
and um, Yvonne is right. You could put the candy behind the satchel. And then, like, in my case, I actually put it in the satchel. But Yvonne is right. You could put it behind the satchel like the gift card. And actually putting the gift card behind the card like this, like we did tonight, was actually Yvonne's idea. And if you don't know who Yvonne is in the feed, she's Crops for Fun. And Yvonne um, is a wonderful teacher and helps make cards for us and teaches at shows. So Yvonne will be teaching at St. Louis and other places. I don't think I'm allowed to say what the other places are. Um, at the point, because it hasn't, them, she'd have to it, uh, and not everything has been firmed up. Definitely in St. Louis. She has some great classes, so you can check her out. She's awesome. So um, that's our basic card. That is that is what we just reviewed was the zip strip, the castellated frame, the shaker satchel. Okay, any questions at all before we move on to card number two? I'm going to show you a little trick with card number two. Okay, so I think we're good. If, if you have questions, you can put them in the feed. I'm going to get rid of my um, red paper here. And we're going to make another card. Awesome. I'm going to show you a little trick here. This is the um, castellated shaker frame. We're going to do the same background, but I'm going to throw in there a die cut word thanks. And this set came out last fall. It is called Thank You Giant Words. And show you. This is what the stamp set looks like. Thank you, thanks, dear friend, for being there so much, for praying for me, for everything. Thank you, thanks. And then what's unique about this stamp set is if you look in the back of the package, you'll see that we included the dies in the back of the package. And I'm going to show you a little trick tonight with this product. So um, we are trying to put stamps in the sets whenever we can include them because that saves you money instead of buying two things you're just buying one and it saves money so we are going to make the thanks card in order to make the thanks card we are going to ink that background just like we did before only we're going to use blue ink so i'm going to tape this down and secure it are you guys having a good time Woohoo! okay all right, somebody asked me, Okay. Well, what does the word castellated mean? And I told her, castellated is a word I made up. Tom made it up. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Street keeps spelling it wrong. The actual proper spelling of it, and you spelled it wrong on the... Yeah, on if the you make paper. up a word, how do you get to spell it wrong? I, well, when you make up a word, you get to determine what the spelling of it is. So, right, and that's what so, I did. Castellated is actually spelled C-A-S-T-E-L-L-A-T-E-D. That's right. Because, ladies, if you will look at the frame up close, it looks like a fortress on a castle all the way around the parameter of the die. Now, as Paul Harvey used to say, you know the rest of the story. So I um, design the products, and then I I never know what to name things, or I have really bad names for things. <laughs> <laughs> like we had this product. This is going back a long way, and it was called I named it Bag with a Window. <laughs> And it didn't sell very well, and it didn't go over very well. And Tom said, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with that product. And this is really, you barely even worked with the business at that point. You had a full-time job somewhere else. And, mm -hmm. um, Tom decided that the name was the problem, and he renamed it. So I called it the bag with the window. And I called it the peekaboo bag. Tom called it the peekaboo bag. And I'm telling you, we sold more peekaboo bags than... Carter has pills. Carter has pills. Is that another Carter in, has pills. Indiana okay. yeah, I, expression? I, I, I more than Carter has that. pills. So, um, Tom, uh, if I get stuck, then I call in, uh, I call the master and ask him, uh, what do you want to name this stuff? 
Um, and so he named it. But I, I do seem to recall having a conversation asking you, was that a real name? And you told me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're telling me that you made it up. Well, it is a real name after I That made you it made up. up. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. Okay. So we got we have our what background. What color is that, Diane is asking? That is uh, Juniper Mist. Juniper nice. Mist. And where is, what? What kind of That's ink is a that? Catherine Pooler. We call her Kathy Pooler. Our friend we Kathy. We buy so much ink that from her. <laughs> we're on a first name basis. Everybody else calls her Catherine, but we're not nearly as formal with You're going to get in what trouble. Call her Kathy Pooler. <laughs> You're going to get your account closed. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be like, who is that Yahoo in the cowboy hat? Okay, so we're going to tape that on our card front. Just Will like everything be in a kit together to purchase? No, no, Judy, but we will help you, you pick it out. You will. I will be your personal <laughs> shopper. I'll help you pick it out, Judy. Is is Judy coming to the show? It sounds like it. If you are coming to the show, to any show within the next few months, this uh, product is currently um, at Tom's demo station. So you can, all the products are hanging right there by Tom, you know, in his little demo station. Um, no kids. Amy's sad. Um, but Amy, I'll just make you up a kid. We'll just make you up a kid. His no, demo no. station is by the cash register. And he can help you out. Now, I'm going to tell you, his. I just want to apologize right now. Okay, now watch it. For, for the mess that's always on Tom's demo station. You know what happens? You come by and straighten it up and clean it up, and I can't find anything. <laughs> so when you go, like, when you go in my office at home. <laughs> now, now... Um, Amy, let's see, hold on here. No, was it? Who was it? I lost it here. Somebody asked. I, 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 Somebody I, asked. I, uh, where is it? Was it okay. Drew? Okay, hold Drew on. Asked. Hold on. Hold on. For, Drew, hold on. Drew hold on. Like why you ask? I'm going to go ahead and put this frame on. I'm not going to add the zip strip or the clear sheet in the back on this one. I'm just going to put this on, so I'm going to do this while Tom's talking. Drew asked, she liked the stencil demonstration, and she, Drew Wagner asked, would love to see more stencil demos in the future. Okay. We've got some new stencils, so that's probably going yeah. to happen, Drew. Yes, certainly. Yeah, come clean the scrap room. I, Patty, I would love to clean your scrap room. And Patty, I yes. am the organization queen. Yes, Patty, we do sell uh, Kathy Pooler inks. but They call them Catherine Pooler, just so you can write And you're going to get your account closed, <laughs> smart mouth. Just, I, will you all be on my side if she calls to complain? Oh, holy cow! Patty Cook! Patty Cook's the winner. Patty Cook, you just won a package of our brand new gummy hearts. Um, now, they're not edible, Patty. Where are, they? where are they at? Well, I don't have them in a package. I have them in oh, a... Oh, show, show her what the gummy hearts So, are. we're going to use these here in a minute. Gummy hearts, Oops, they're gummy not... Hearts. Guys, do not do not eat these. They're, they are not be good on your digestive system. They're called gummy hearts. Um, but they're acrylic hearts, and we're going to use them in this car tonight. Okay, we've got our card base. We did our frame. We got our background. We're looking awesome there. And um, so what I want to show you is a little trick. Are you ready for a trick? So I have previously stamped the word thanks. And I used the Thank You Giant Words stamp set. And now I'm going to go back over with the thanks die. And I'm going to die cut that. And that's going to give me that... Thanks word. I'm gonna get my get my um, Creek Bank Creations art stencil tape off of the Ninja Blender <laughs> and reuse it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna die cut. I don't know what that means. I told him earlier. Oh, did he? Yeah. I'm I'm sitting here right next to the Ninja Ninja Blender because Tom likes to have his kale drink every morning. Tell him what my kale. The kale. It's a I don't. It's, my kale it's smoothie. green blobbiness. It's a superfood, ladies. That's right. It's a superfood. Okay, so I'm taking the tape off, and I have my die cut word. Thanks. Okay. Now, here's the here's what I want to show you. Last fall was it fall? We came out with the six by eight. I'm reaching for it, ladies. Six by eight self-adhesive foam sheets. There are six of these in a package. Okay, so what I'm going to do 
is take my die and I'm going to put it on the red liner side. So this has a cream liner on the back, so it's sticky on the back, and a red liner on the front. And I'm gonna put my die face down on the red liner and I'm going to die cut. So hang on, I'm gonna die cut. Okay, now, my die cut was on there. Let me put this stuff away. Y'all know how to you lose stuff. Try it in a hotel room. Okay, so I wanted, I wanted you to see how when you die cut this, that literally just pops out of the foam sheet. And now we have our word that we can stick right on top of that foam and it's cut perfectly. Okay, any questions about that? So six by eight, you can actually cut your own shaker things with it. And when you start using it, you're gonna see that there's a lot of waste on this sheet. And so I invented the pop dot die. See if you guys can see this close up. It has the little squares, the rectangles, the long rectangles, and the circles. You put this over the top of your scraps, and then you'll have your own pop dots out of this. So there's no waste in the six by eight sheet. No waste at all. No weight. We're gonna call you the frugal scrapper. Yes, okay. So this came out last fall. We haven't really done any YouTube on it. So what I wanted to show you is, um, if I had my alcohol markers with me, I could color the edge of this blue and then it would match perfectly. I don't have my markers with me, so I can't, but um, you could if you had your markers. So I'm gonna take my tool and I'm gonna pull off the red liner and I am going to put that word on top of that foam. So we're gonna get our friend out our undo friend, and we're just gonna coat that with undo. It's gonna suspend adhesion. And I know what the question I missed earlier. Somebody asked, um, how long does that undo take to dry? And depending on how wet you get it, usually less than a minute. So we wanna line that up. And if I have trouble, I can get it wet and go again. Okay, there I go. Now I have this really nice sentiment that is dimensional and it fits on my foam perfectly. Now, I'm going to take my shaker satchel and Patty wants to know if she can pick up her booth. Did you see that? Pick up her what? Pick up her prize in the booth. That Patty. Pat Cook? Patty Cook. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Okay, Patty, so you sure can. Here's the shaker satchel, and we are going to put the word inside that. There we go. So this is the look we're going for. So I need my word inside. So I am going to peel off that back liner. And I am going to coat this with undo. Now this is a little tricky. Okay, get it wet. And we're gonna put it inside that bag. Did I mention it was a little tricky? Did you mention that was tricky? I, I may have mentioned it was a little tricky. So get it open, slide it in there. If you have undo on the back, I hope you guys can see this. You can um, get it exactly where you want it. And once you have it, you're gonna stick it down. Okay. Where are the now, RIP stop dies listed? Where are the RIP stop the rip stop dies? Is she talking about the zip? I think she's talking about the, the zip, zip strip. strip. This is uh, called yeah. the zip strip. Joan Johnson, it's called the zip strip die. Now I'm gonna take the gummy hearts and I'm gonna slide those inside my satchel. And guess who named the shaker satchel? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey Tom, I got this clear shaker bag thing. So <laughs> <laughs> I 
we're gonna put our candy hearts, our little gummy hearts in there. Now we have the um, the blue, so we want to try to dig in here and get some. Make sure I get some blue hearts going in there. You can see how you can have fun with this. Um, it's just a fun little card. I'm gonna take my pick tool and kind of push that in, and then everything will be encapsulated. And um, you've got dimension. Any questions? Okay. Now, we're going to close that. Do we... Have you told them about any of the other I'm going to... No, I have not. I'm going to pull the strip off. We have many other <laughs> new products, and honestly, we are really going to try to do a live next week all right, Lois back ass. Okay. Do the things inside the shaker satchel. Move around a lot when you shake it. Please, demo. In other words, grab it and shake okay, it. Okay, I'm shaking. Shake, shake, shake. shake. shake, shake Here's this one. Lois, like, we're going to shake. Not shake, in, shake. okay? But let me show you this one. Okay. They'll, they free slide in there. Okay. Just fun. Let's look at. Get me another one here. Let's look at this one. Okay. The great thing is, you don't have to worry about it getting stuck in the adhesive on the side. You don't have to fight all that stuff. It's all just going to slide around in there for you. So it's just a really fun option, and. Easy. Okay, so we're back to this. Remember we had this, and we're going to set that inside our card. So I am going to remove the liner. Any other questions? Uh, Donna asked if we we're going to be at Allentown, and I told her no, we're going to be in Lancaster at the CK Show, July 29th and 30th. Okay. So, you know, COVID really messed up all of the schedules, and... Everything is kind of odd and going to have to regroup on some of these things. Can't do them all. We're going to stick that in there. And the only where that that's adhering is over here on the edge. I have the slightest bit of overlap. And depending on how you fold the bag, you may have overlap or you may not. Just depends. You can mess around with that. Okay, then we're ready to put our frame on the top. So I'm going to put my undo on there so that if I mess up, I can adjust. Do you need to do anything to fight the static? Asked Debbie Gray. Um, you don't have any static because you just put the stuff in the bag. Well, I think she means that sometimes certain different brands of confetti does have static electricity that hangs up in the bag. And that's where our, our shake and rattle is a little well, different. Well, I will say that we have, um, there are some confetti that have a lot of um, really small glitter pieces that stick, and that's an issue, and we don't use those kinds of pieces. Um, but she's also talking about the process of when you make when you make a shaker card, there's static electricity. But we, we don't, the answer is... We don't have a problem with static electricity. What is the frame called? The frame is called the lovely castellated shaker frame. Okay, Barb signing off. Okay, Susan, so Susan um, Kessler said, "How long does the undo last?" Now, I'm not sure if she she means how long does how long does the, the container last? How long, how long does the does the last on the paper? So, you want well, to that it, it evaporates in less than a minute. If you're talking about when I pour it on, I don't know if you can see here, but it's already starting to dry. Um, if you're talking about how long does a bottle last, well, that just depends on how much you use. Um, and you know, we used to, in the past, we have not been shipping undo. 
And we have gone through the hoops with the Postal Service, and we do ship this product now. So it is on the website. So it depends how much you use it as to how long it will last. Any other questions? Yes, Debbie asks, she asks, uh, can you suggest how to use the other dies in the package? Yes, uh, those are designed for the sentiments. So they are sized to fit many of our sentiment stamps. I made sure that... Oh, oh. Judas Valerie! Judas Valerie, you just won a package of our new conversation hearts. So you can see how they are um, sized to fit that, and you can also layer them on top of each other. I also sized this piece, the die, large enough that it will fit over the whole entire castellated frame if you want to run it this way. So and just to show you how well that shaker filling runs inside that card, you can see that. So how many people do we have still? We still have 100 people watching. Would you guys like to see one more new product? Who wants to see more? You going to reset your timer? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get information on June. Uh, Elizabeth, are they flat-backed? Mm, kind of, sort of, not really. Let me look. Um, they are not flat-backed but they are not that dimensional either. You could easily put a mini glue dot on them and um, they would stick. So, yes, I, yes, it does look like cupcake sprinkles. So, okay, Tom, how do I email you? Sales at creekbankcreations.com. Okay, now we have a new product called Wingding. <laughs> guess who named it? Just guess who named it. Um, let me grab another thing, and we'll do another thing, another pile here. Tom, talk about Wingding. The Wingding die, ladies. Ladies, this is the die sensation that is sweeping the nation right here at Creek Bank Creations. That's right. Ladies, this is a brand new die that we have just come out with, and Julie is going to be demonstrating it at the show. She's just going to give you a quick preview here uh, of, of how it works and what it does. And we also have new die and stamp um, uh, sets that are very reasonably priced, has both a, a uh, stamp in it and a die in it that are, were designed actually to be used with the wing ding die. Now Julie's got some samples out here. She's just going to show you. I'm going to show them a little. I'm going to show them a little trick with wing with one of the wing dings. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So I just was throwing that stuff out. That was what was in my tote. So the wing ding is a round. Um, it's a round card, and this is a whole die system. And I will be demoing this at the show. I have not had a chance to shoot video on this yet. Um, but that mechanism rocks back and forth. It's, I need to stand it up to do it, and I can't. But I'm demoing this at the show. If you purchase the wing ding, you get the instructions, written instructions. Diane Morris wrote my instructions for me um, because I haven't had time to shoot video. So when we get home, I will shoot video about wing ding. But if you purchase at the show, Ooh. you do get um, written instructions. Okay. And okay. Do we do we need to to give him a, a a hint about skinning? Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Okay. So what I wanted to share with you tonight is um, this: um, we have four stamp sets that are new, and they we have these in stock. Okay. Put them up here for you. See if we can get them all in the frame. And these are designed so that there is a die and a stamp in the set so it makes a card. Okay, so this is the unicorn and you can see the unicorn is a two layer die set. Scoot this over like you can see those two. Here's the other two. Show, show them the stamp that's in okay. the back of it. So, and the stamp. So this has got the unicorn. It says birthday wishes. May your birthday leave you sparkling. 
And so when you buy this, the stamp and die, everything is in there all contained, all together. So this is our the unicorn card, and you can see you have the inside of the card, which is really nice. So the stamp... Can you stand it up so they can see how... Well, it's not going to work at that angle. I can move the camera. The, uh, these are $9.99, is yes. that right? Mm -hmm. the, these stamp and die sets are $9.99, so unicorn rocking horse and the, it has welcome baby girl and then welcome baby boy on it and congratulations here's the merry christmas and you can see they're not they're not getting the true the well true. i can't i'm not here to really talk about wing ding well, i was gonna say i could move the camera no the we're not moving the camera we're good we'll, we'll do wing ding more later what i want to show you is how this die um how you can layer it and get that look. So the unicorn, the angel, the rocking horse are all two part dies. And what I just. What size? A2? Beth, Beth asked? Yes, these all fit in an A2 card. Okay, and if you come to the show, come to my demo table, I will. Um, Explain to him that it's actually a stand up card that rocks back and forth. Ladies and gentlemen, because Tom is dying for you to know, this is a card that stands up like this on your table. And when you you're, move you're not, it, you're not showing it. You're, 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 it moves back and forth. So, you only see the top. See, Patty it. said she got it all along. Patty, Patty thank you, Patty. We'll put you in the front of the class <laughs> from now on, Patty. Be in front of the class. Patty is on my side. Okay, so what I want to show you, just really uh, one more freebie for you here tonight. Um, these are, there are two dies in there, and I just want to show you a little trick with them. On the unicorn, where did he go? Okay, the background in the unicorn is purple sparkle. Okay, now... I did. I don't think I have purple paper. Like I said, this is kind of on the fly. I don't have purple. I have red. Do I have any other? We're have to use red. I have red. Okay. So red. So what I'm going to do is take my red paper. I want to show you how I did this, and I am going to put my super tacky tape on the red paper. Now, I'm just going to do a little piece because I only need a little piece. Normally, when I do this, I do the whole sheet at once. And now we could be in trouble because, there, I found them. I was going to say, I have no idea where the scissors are. You know, when you're not in your studio, it's a whole different ballgame. Okay, so that is our super tacky tape. We sell that in a three-inch roll or a six-inch roll. And we're going to trim it out. And we want to make sure that there's no adhesive exposed on the edge. So I'm going to trim that part off. Okay, now, on this, for this unicorn, I used purple paper. Okay? We're going to take our... I, I'm using red because I'm out in a hotel and I don't have purple paper. I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to put the whole die, this is the base die, and I'm going to cut into the tape side. Okay, so I have red side, tape side. I'm cutting into the red side, and I'm going to die cut. Okay, I keep, I'm getting a lot of comments okay. about using 110-pound cardstock. Is that, the, is that the weight of cardstock you're using on this? For the wing ding? Yes. Yes, I, w I would recommend it, yes. Heavyweight cardstock. Okay, here's our base. Okay, now we're going to take our detail die and we're going to cut that on whatever we're going to put on the top. And I do have some glitter paper in my stash. No so, way. Yeah, just happened to have some. And I'm going to put that there. And we're going to die cut that. This unicorn set is just a happy little set. We're gonna pop that out. 
and then pull the little pieces out so the color will show through. Out of the tail. Now I have found when the when you cut the unicorn that um, it's kind of fun if you take the pick tool and just run over the eyelash, the eye and the mouth a little bit just to give them a little bit more pop. Do you guys hear that dog barking? Did you hear? Did you hear the dog barking? I, I thought the, I thought the, the dogs were leaving. We we have neighbors that have giant dogs in the hotel. Which have gotten us up every morning. Seven there we go. We're not complaining about it. No way. No way. <laughs> okay, so I'm removing the liner. I'm going to put my undo on my unicorn. And I'm going to put my glitter unicorn on top of that base. And I'm going to get it to sit exactly where I want it. Now, in less than a minute, that's going to evaporate. You see where I'm going here, ladies? Do we have any gentlemen and gentlemen? Crafters? Okay, that's going to evaporate, and when it does, it's going to be sticky. Now, this uh, unicorn set, show you this, has the tiniest little horn die, which makes a really cool accent on the Rock card. For fun said, Julie's self-adhesive pearls makes a great eye on the unicorn. Aha, uh -huh. that's Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. That was a great idea. Yvonne okay, so Yvonne. I, you know who Yvonne is? Mm -hmm. okay. I, I, I've, I've heard of that gal okay. before. <laughs> like, you know who you're talking about. Okay, now, uh, Sticky's coming back. Oh. All right, be mine. Is is that one word, not two words on the, on the coupon code? It's one word. Okay. Has anybody tried it? Yeah, she tried it, and be mine, she used two words, so tell. Yeah, there's no space. Uh, then I'm going to take the Pixie Puffer. I'm going to hold this over the trash can and I'm going to puff, which means I'm going to push down on this. I'm going to do it over to the side. And that's going to put glitter all in that where the tape is. And then I have that really nice little accent in the background. So that is the unicorn set and the unicorn the rocking horse and the angel all have two dies in them for you to layer up and do that technique with and you can do it in different ways we will um talk about the you the <laughs> the wing ding in another video because that's a whole another conversation so I think we're good. Okay. Does anyone have any questions? We need to go over the specials again. Okay. Because we have some confusion. Okay. okay. The 15% off on the online. Do you want me to talk to him? No. Okay. I'm going to pull the camera up. Actually, do you want me to pull you up? Sure. I don't know how to get... Here, I'll come around to you. Okay. Because we have to sign off. And okay. All, stuff. all right. Hang on. Hello, crafters. Okay, the 15% off on our website is use the coupon be mine, all one word, B E M I N E. All orders over $50, we ship for free. That's right, <laughs> absolutely free. <laughs> and don't forget our specials at the show this weekend. Can't wait to see you. Uh, ladies, it has been a lot of fun. It's been a whole year since we've so done this. So somebody's asking about the Pixie Puffer. The Pixie Puffer. Pixie yes. Puffer. The Pixie um, Puffer. We sell this empty. You you need to put microfine or super fine micro glitter. Microfine. It's very, very um, fine, fine glitter. You can't put anything chunky in no, it. No, don't so. put that chunky stuff in there. It won't work. <laughs> hey, I think I finally found a way to make him be quiet. Um, <laughs> pixie dust goes in here so you just glitter that space any questions how do i avoid postage on my second order okay don't worry about it kathy we that will combine Carla. Car excuse Carla. me carla we'll combine them and i'll take care of it for you can she do carla have you don't worry about it carla i'll credit back no to you. no she can use the free she can use a local pickup option on the second order it, it won't charge the well yes she can it, yeah, she can use the local pickup option, or I'll just credit it back to her. Okay, either two. way. Carla, we'll take care of it. We're not going to charge a freight twice. We'll combine the orders. All right. Ladies, may the Lord keep you, and we appreciate you coming. Uh, Jesus loves yes. you, and we do too. We're going to try to meet next um, 
next week sometime. We want to try to see if we can get back on Tuesdays occasionally. There's a blizzard. There's a blizzard out but there. We, we got to drive through it to get back home. We got to we do have to drive right, through a blizzard. It's treacherous. It's treacherous. With We're going to make it, though. With Tom. Yeah. I'm going to keep this in the front seat. <laughs> You're like, behave. Behave. <laughs> All right. We bless you guys. Thank you so much. We enjoyed you. See you again next time. See you at the show tomorrow, uh, on Saturday, Saturday. too. Tomorrow, Saturday. Tomorrow we'll be working. At Stamp Fest in Clearwater, Florida. Thanks so much, guys. Bye now. Bye.